everyone and welcome to Clever Patch Crafternoons for 2021. I hope you've all had a fantastic Christmas and New Year's and I hope you're having a great time enjoying the summer holidays with your friends and family. To kick things off this year I thought we would jump into one of our favourite crafts here at Clever Patch which is string art. Now string art's a really fun way to create pictures, um, it's great for brightening up your bedroom and you can even create uh, custom little pictures that you can give to your friends and family. Today we're going to be creating outer space themed string art. Uh, we are again really proud to be a creative partner of National Simultaneous Storytime this year and the book has been announced which is Give Me Some Space by Philip Bunting and so you're going to see a few uh, space crafts around from us this year um, to get everyone in the mood we'll be bringing out another free ebook for National Simultaneous Storytime so keep an eye out for that one as well but today let's jump into the string art what we'll be creating is uh, these little boards that we will decorate in a space themed galaxy background and then all you need to do is hammer in your nails to create the outline of your image and then string some bright coloured wool between the nails to fill in your picture. Then you can add some things like uh, sequin stars or glitter, whatever you have on hand at home. Um, just to give it a little bit more extra. So what we're going to need for this craft is your string art boards. You're going to need some nails, a hammer, uh, some bright coloured wool, some PVA glue, black and white paints, a fan brush, some scissors. We've got some star sequins as well. Um, and we've also got some templates. So I've done up some templates that will fit both our string art boards as well as our larger wooden panel art boards. Um, so these ones are also great to use for string art as they have the routed hanger on the back so you can hang them directly onto your wall. Alright, I think that's it. Let's get into it. To start off, uh, choose which board you'd like to use. So as I mentioned, you could use our smaller string art board um, or you could use our larger wooden art panel which has the routed hanger on the back. Um, I have provided free templates for download for both of these options. So as you can see, the uh, wooden art panel template is a bit larger and I've also positioned that image um, so that when you're nailing um, the nails into the board you're going to avoid the hanger area which is much thinner so your nails won't actually stay in that area. So we are going to focus on a small string art board. What you want to do first is paint your board black. So here's one that I prepared earlier. All you need to do is paint it with your acrylic paint, make sure you cover the edges too, it just gives it more of a finished look. And then what we're going to do is create our starscape galaxy look over the top of that. And this is actually a really easy kind of look to achieve, um, simply with some white acrylic paint. So uh, a fan brush is really good to get this effect as it, it creates some really nice spattering um, techniques over the board. So what you do is you take your fan brush and just dip it in some water and then all you need to do is load it up with some paint. So the water just makes sure that that paint isn't too thick. And Once you've got your brush loaded up, hold your brush in one hand flat over the top of the board and you just want to start tapping the brush from above. As you can see I've put down some scrap paper to cover my work surface um, because the paint spatters do go quite a distance. So be sure to cover up anything nearby so that it doesn't get ruined. 
So just continue in this fashion until you are happy with the galaxy that you've created. It's a great technique as you end up with these larger paint blobs and then you have the fine spatters as well. So it really does look like a kind of 3D galaxy. So once you've got your starscape done, allow that one to dry. Again, here's one that I've prepared earlier. We'll just get rid of that scrap paper with the paint on it. Might just flip that over. So now your board is ready to start your string art. So I've cut out the template that I would be will be using today. I thought I'd go with a simple star. And you just lay that over the top of your board. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. And now we're going to start hammering in our nails. Actually, before we start with the nails, I am going to put down a cutting mat underneath my string art board. This is just going to protect the table beneath me so that as I'm nailing in the nails, if they do happen to go through the board, they're not going to ruin the table underneath. So take your hammer and get your nails ready. And all I do first is start at each of the points. So this will make sure your template stays nice and centered on your board. And the great thing about these string art boards is they're made of a pine wood, so it's nice and soft to nail into. Next I'll start on the inner point. Now we always recommend adult supervision when using hammers and nails. And younger children may need a bit of help with this section. So now we've got our key points in, I'm just going to start hammering more nails at around a two centimeter interval. Just following the line of that star. Now the reason I do the points first and then the inside points is because it helps me gauge how far away to space my nails. You don't want to put them too close because that will make the stringing part of the exercise a little bit hard, but you don't want them too far apart either. So just try and make them nice and even. So don't forget to register your interest in National Simultaneous Storytime 2021 either. It's a great thing to get behind. Always good to encourage children to read. And every year it's growing bigger and bigger and there's more events being put on, which is always great to see. Nearly there. There's four different designs you can choose from and you may wish oh, you may wish to fill in your design 
Or you may also wish to add a border of nails around the outside of your board and kind of reverse out your design to string the wool on the outside. Okay, now our nails are all in place, we simply grab our template and just start lifting it so it pulls away from the nails. It's okay if it rips because the template's now done and we no longer need it. So just pull that off and what you're left with is the nails in the shape of a star. It's actually a little hard to see on the background without that white paper underneath but you can definitely see them and you'll be able to feel them and touch them as well. So first pick your colour of wool. I'm going to start with yellow and what we want to do is tie the wool onto one of the nails. I always like starting at a point but it's completely up to you where you start in your design. So tie a double knot so it's nice and tight, trim any excess and then what I like to do is make my way all the way around the outside of the star. So as I go to each nail I wrap it once around and move on to the next nail. Around and move on. This just helps to keep your wool in place in case you lose tension and it all kind of starts to unravel. So you don't have to go all the way around the outside of your shape to start with. You may want to start on a nail and automatically start zigzagging across your shape and filling it in, which is totally fine. It's a great thing about string art, there's no real right or wrong way to do it. It's about getting creative and having some fun. So once we're back to the start, I also like to go around and kind of push the wool to about halfway down the nail. Now you can push it all the way down to the bottom, you can leave it right up the top. It's completely up to you and what sort of effect you're looking for. By pushing it halfway down, um, it kind of gives me a bit more room at the top of the nail to use when I'm cross hatching across the star with my pattern and filling in the shape as I will now. So all you need to do, you can go in a particular pattern and zigzag your way across the star. Or you may want to go in lots of different directions. You don't have to go all the same way at once. It's something I do like to do, work my way across in one direction and then come back in the other direction. I'll just loop that around there to hold that tight and then go across and push that wall down again so that I can come back across from the other side. So I'll just reposition and this time I might go right down straight across up to the opposite point straight across opposite point straight across and now I might start zigzagging across this way. And then back across this way. 
So it's completely up to you how much wool you want to use, how much crisscrossing you'd like to do. You may want to use one colour on half the star and then switch up your colours and start again with a different colour on the other side. Just get creative and continue around the star until you're happy. So as I mentioned before, you might also want to use the other option and create a border of nails around the outside of your board and instead of filling in the star, you might want to fill in around the outside of the star to create a negative space, which can also be a great effect. We'll just finish up by tying off. So I'm going to cut the wool so it has a bit of a tail that I'm able to tie a knot with. Just twist it around the nail. I found the easiest way to tie a knot tight onto that last nail is to create a loop, push it over the nail, pop my finger on top so it doesn't pop off the nail head and then pull that tail tight. So create a loop, pop it over the head of the nail, pop your finger on top and pull it tight. And trim any excess and your star is nice and filled in. So this is what I was talking about when I said you could create a border and then make the star the negative space. Um, so it's totally up to you. You can go through and get creative and see what different effects you can come up with. Now to finish off our star, uh, we're going to add in some glitter star sequins. So all we do is pop a bit of PVA on the back and glue them to the board. So you may also want to add some glitter or perhaps when you create your board you would like to add in some purples or blues, maybe some metallic paint, create a, a real galaxy behind your string art. Another good thing to do would be if you had some glow in the dark paint, you could paint in some glow in the dark stars so that your artwork glowed at night. Again, it's totally up to you. It's your artwork. You make it what you would like. And we'll just leave that one there. And there we have a beautiful space themed string art. Well, I hope you've had a great time creating your beautiful space themed string art. Uh, be sure to take a photo of it and send it to us or share it with us on the socials. We love seeing what you guys are creating out there. If you would like to be involved with the upcoming uh, National Simultaneous Storytime event, then be sure to head to the Australian Library and Information Association website. 
Uh, it is an Alia run event and they have loads of information available on their website in regards to different events happening around the country, how you can get involved and registering your own interest. If you would like to receive the National Simultaneous Storytime ebook that I told you we were developing, then be sure to head to the Clever Patch website and sign up for our mailing list. So you'll be the first one to get that download and you'll be able to get stuck into those awesome space themed crafts. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your holidays. Uh, I will be back next week for some more crafting fun. But until then, happy crafting!